Welcome back to the series Building Web APIs with Azure Functions on Serverless Hub. This is the fifth video of the series. We have already implemented CRUD operations for to-do items. In this video, we will see how we can chain two functions together and implement to-do items upload API. This is how it will work. We will have two Azure functions. The first function will be triggered by HTTP request. The second function will have a blob storage trigger and we will chain them using a storage account. And the second function will be triggered when the first function persists data into storage account. Finally, the second function will persist the data into Cosmos DB. First, we need to create a storage account. Let's go back to Azure. Open up the resource group and click on add. And let's search for storage account. and click create. The subscription is already selected. Let's select the resource group. Let's name the storage account. We will be using the default region. We will change the redundancy to locally redundant. Click next and let's skip through to the review and create. Let's click on create. It will take a couple of minutes to complete. Once storage account is created, let's go into it. Click on containers. And let's create a container. Let's name it uploads. And click create. Now we can go back to Visual Studio Code and implement the function. Let's go to Azure Functions plugin. Click on create new function. Select HTTP trigger as function trigger. Name the function as upload to do items. Let's use anonymous authorization level. Let's open up the bindings file and update the supported methods to only allow post. Let's specify the route as upload to do items. We will need few utility methods to work with the uploaded file. I'll copy them over from my repository. I will add the link to GitHub repo in the description box. Let's add the missing imports. These functions require a npm library. Let's install it. Type npm install pass hyphen multipart space hyphen hyphen save. Let's import the library. Let's go to the index file. Let's remove unwanted code. Let's read the file content from the HTTP request using the get upload file method that we added to util. Let's pass in the request and the user ID. Get uploaded file will read the file content and prepend the user ID. The prepended user ID will be used in the second function. Let's add a new binding to the function. Open the command palette. We can open the command palette by going to the menu view command palette or using the shortcut command shift p on mac and control shift p on windows. Let's search for azure functions add binding. Let's choose the upload to do items function. Select out as binding direction. Select azure blob storage as binding type. Let's name the binding as upload. Let's use the container name that we created as the path. Uploaded files will be saved into uploads container with the CSV extension and a random GUID as its name. Let's choose create new local app setting to store our storage account connection string. 
We will select the storage account that we created. If we look at the local settings.json, there should be a new connection string. We can see the Cosmos DB connection string there as well. Let's set the file content to the output binding. Let's call context.done. Let's save the files and start debugging by pressing F5. Notice the new URL for the upload to do items. Let's copy it. Let's go to Thunder Client and create a new request. Let's paste the URL and change the method. For this request, we will have a form as the request body. Let's tick on Files and choose a file. This file should be a CSV file and it should follow this format. It will have rows of to-do items with title and description separated by a comma. Let's send the request. It returned 200. Let's go to the contain in the storage account. We can see the uploaded file there. Let's add another Azure function. This time the trigger will be different. It will be Azure Blob Storage Trigger. Let's name the function as Process Uploads. Let's choose existing connection string to the storage account. Let's point to Uploads container. We will use get to do items function from the utils to read the blob. Let's read the to-do items. Let's pass in the blob. Once we receive the to-do items, let's insert each item into the database. For this, we will add a new method to to-do item repository. This function is also available on the GitHub repo. The link should be in the description box. Let's call the create to do items from the to do items repository. Let's call context.done. Let's add few logs as well. One more thing to keep in mind is we need to do all the operations before we call context.done. Let's save changes and start debugging. When we are debugging functions with blob trigger, we need to specify a storage account for Azure Functions Runtime internal use. Let's select any storage account. We will use the same account that we use for uploads. If you notice the terminal output, we can see the new function. We can also see that the process uploads function has picked up the file in the storage account and it has processed it.
Let's verify if the to-do items are persisted. Let's do a get all request. As you can see, there are new items. Their titles and the descriptions match the CSV file. Now that we have created all the functions, let's see how we can deploy these functions to Azure. Go to Azure Functions plugin. Click on the Upload button. It will list the function apps in the subscription. Let's choose our function app. VS Code will warn you about overriding the functions. Let's click Deploy. We can see the deployment progress in the bottom right corner. Once the code is deployed, we need to add couple of configurations into the Azure Functions app. Let's go to the Function app to verify the deployment. Click on Functions. We can see the deployed functions here. Before we test the deployed functions, we need to add couple of configurations. Let's go to the configuration. Let's click on New Application Setting. Let's copy over the Cosmos DB connection string name. Let's copy over the Cosmos DB connection string. Click OK. Let's add one more application setting. Let's copy over the storage account connection string name and the storage account connection string. Click OK and let's click Save. Now we can test the deployed functions. Let's test create to do item. We can get the URL for the function using get function URL. Let's copy the URL. Let's go to Thunder Client. and change the URL for the create request. And we get success response. Let's test get to do items as well. Let's get the function URL. Go to Thunder Client. Change the URL. Don't forget to remove the question mark at the end. And it will retrieve the to-do item successfully. We learned how to do function chaining using blob triggers and deployed functions to Azure. In the next video, we will see how we can host a web app to call the API.